on the back end. And you see that tip drill ability. He does have that active Coltrane. So if he does get a chance to catch the ball off the tip, most likely if it's one of those defenders, they're coming down with beast it. Beast mode. Deion Sanders, beast mode. You talked about him. Randy Moss, he also has Ocho Cinco. And then Donovan McNabb, the gunslinger, who got the speed and the arm to get it done. Well, he had a overtime win against True Boy. We'll see what he does against Los, who's 2-0, and oh, looking good. And you're right, can't get ahead of yourself. He's number 31 ranked, but he did go home in the Madden Challenge in going 2-1, and one, so he knows how big this game is. Yes, exactly. He's been in the same situation before, and it didn't work out for him. So if you're Los, you need to know you better keep your foot on the gas and continue to rock, especially after you went on an epic rant like the one that he just went on with Drea. Yeah, that was actually the uh, – he went 2-1 and one in the Madden Bowl, not the Madden Challenge. Let's look at his guys. He's got Mel Blunt, Night Train, Lane. Those are the guys that are going to be laying the wood. Two of the best defenders just because they can cover and they could, like you said, lay the wood. So really good defenders right there. The two best receivers we've seen, Randy Moss, Ocho Cinco. And is that a goat on the screen? Oh, no, never mind. It's Tom Brady. <laughs> um, really good quarterback to have with Los. And he used them very well, stepping up in the pocket, making good reads. You could see why he went with that Brady as his cue. Well, let's look at our scouting report brought to you by my good friends at Xbox. For misery, you're down, but you're not out. We just talked about it. You win this game against Loso. True Boy beats Silent Soldier, and you are going to advance. For Los, use your motto. You better secure the bag. If you want to guarantee yourself that money, you control your own destiny. You win this game, you are for sure 100% moving on. So this is your chance to secure that bag and live by your motto, Los. Just got to go and do it. But turnovers have yet to be a factor thus far in Group E. We've seen a few of them, but haven't seen them really swing the momentum of a game. And now Misery will receive. He's in all white with the Falcons. He's going against the color rush of Los in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And that's where the drive will start for Misery. It's the 26-yard line. Yeah, Misery from Eagleville, Pennsylvania and Los Tampa Bay, Florida. Both of these guys with top five finishes in challenger events, not part of the major series. So they went out there. They they bought some flights. They got some things done in it, and it's paid off. Both these guys in a big game right here. Yeah, and for those that don't know, Scott, challenger events are underground tournaments sanctioned by EA that, give, that anybody can show up to, and they give you a chance to earn series points towards that top 32, which we obviously have here competing this weekend. McNabb gets rid of it, throws it into coverage. Just swatted away, Sean Taylor on the coverage. Wow, bad start right there for Miz, already chucking in the coverage. Fortunate Los didn't have that tip drill active. And that might have been a Yixon. So already third and nine for Misery. Do not want to go three and out or four and out to start the game. McNabb, quick throw to Lynch. That's going to make it a little bit more manageable on third down, on fourth down, but it's still fourth and six. Wow, and we already got ourselves a big play here. Scott Miz going for it on the opening possession on his own 29 yard line, and Lowe's can get all the momentum early on with this open and drive stop in Miz's territory. This is big, Scott, early on. A minute gone by here in game number three. Los can, can secure his own destiny here with the win. Got to watch Julio. All day. Oh. And, and Julio comes Should've back was. to I, it. Oh, Should have been picked off, oh. but it's a turnover on downs. And, and even better oh. for Los because it's an awkward yeah. situation where you don't want to go for the interception because <laughs> that would ruin your field position. And so you see Los lurking, went for a swat, almost misplayed it, got himself in a situation, but defenders come away to knock the ball out. And now Los in prime position on Miz's 29-yard line. That's how you want to open up the game if you're Los on the God. Well, you'd like to see on that Z spot him lead that post just a little bit more toward the sideline. So it's a turnover on downs. Lowe's going to work. Great field position. And Tom Brady, welcome to a Falcon sandwich. Let's go to Zach with a game break. 
Thank you very much. We're keeping a close eye on this one, Scott. It's Silent Soldier with the long touchdown run. He's up 7 up and gives Trueboy a taste of his own medicine. Looking good in those Cowboys unis, loving those socks. And that is a rivalry game over there. Silent oh, yeah. Soldier has a vendetta against True Boy. True Boy not only eliminated Silent Soldier from the Madden Classic. Oh, no. Brian Dawkins, the X-Factor. got the best quarterback, and he overthrows every pass I throw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is... <laughs> We're in California, but he's putting some shade on your guy, Tom Brady. Well, he's venting about Tommy ball game, but you got to be careful your lows. Don't, don't get discouraged. Really. He's saying he's overthrown every ball I throw, which is obviously not the case, Scott. <laughs> or you wouldn't be 2-0 and in this group, low, so you better not psych ready? yourself this out now. Is. This is not a good sign, Scott. This is a terrible sign coming from the veteran Lowe's right now. Well, it was a turnover on downs, and Misery comes back with the interception. So no harm done, second and 10 at the 20. McNabb, quick throw, high pass to Ladarius Green, and that'll move the chains at the 42. He's, I, I, Lowe's just has to be frustrated, Scott, that he wasn't able to turn that initial four and out into three points. Anytime you can't capitalize on a turnover or downs, especially in your opponent's own territory, uh, if you don't capitalize on that situation, it's extremely frustrating, and it's a great way to lose Madden games. And Lowe's knows that, being the veteran that he is. McNabb just has it. to what throw it away on first down. Can we get a Los F-bomb counter? <laughs> is, 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 that a, is that a graphic we can quickly work up? F for fine, maybe, huh? <laughs> Be careful, Los. Second and ten. McNabb this time hands it off to Marshawn Lynch, and Lynch breaks a few tackles, musters his way to the 45-yard line. And that's what you want to see from the Grizzly Beast mode, Scott. He is not cheap on the cap. So if you spend that much on your halfback, you need to find a way to get him involved, which could be hard sometimes with these 11 personnel type offenses that run primarily out the shotgun. Misery spent the third most on halfbacks in the salary cap mode. You see that with Marshawn Lynch. Good job throwing it back. Big time hit from Blount. Wow, Lowe's has on, shown dude. time and time again that he is able to click onto defenders and clap you at the point of the catch. And that is a very good skill to have when playing on this level, playing Madden at this level. People are gonna find people open. You need to be able to hit them as soon as they put their hands on that ball. Little Lowe's. delay to Lynch, shakes one as Bosa couldn't hold on to him. It's third and seven, ball at the 42. We talked about it earlier, Misery with only a 65 overall kicker. He needs about 12 yards to get in range. Almost cost him against True Boy earlier too, missing that extra point. So third and seven. McNabb. Finds what Randy please. Moss. And he fumbles oh. it. And it's recovered by Eubanks at the 18-yard line. And it's no cool winky dick. We've been talking about this Coltrane Lowe's. You see him click on. He was already using control in that player. Comes down at the point of contact, claps Misery, and forces a huge turnover. Because that was a crispy ah, pass by yeah, Miss Scott. So and when you make dude. a read that good, and then it results in a turnover, it is extremely frustrating. And you hear Miz showing some of that frustration now. Night Train Lane with a big hit on Randy Moss. Straight fumble, homie. Wow. And that'll bring up third down after two straight plays that Los couldn't get it out of the pocket with Tom Brady. You hear all those clicks. These guys are making adjustments at a rapid pace, Scott. Nice job finding Randy Moss, who will give him a new set of downs at the 30-yard line. Yes, look at that pre-play, Scott. Look how fast those fingers are moving. That's all adjustments being made. That's assigning hot routes to the receivers. That's switching up your defensive uh, players' assignments. That's shifting your line. That's stunting. That's pressing. Base aligning. These guys make seven to eight adjustments during pre-play, and it's extremely impressive. Second and three. Finds a man downfield, and Dallas Clark is able oh to hold God. on to Come it. On. And RG, Los is looking pretty good on this drive. And that's very important for him to go back and get points. Remember, he gets the ball at halftime. 
So being the first person to score while getting the ball at halftime always puts you in a really good spot. So here's an audible. You gotta be careful, Coltrane. There's three receivers here against only two defenders. Once again, here comes <laughs> old number 21 screaming through the gap. That's no other than Deion Sanders. Yeah, when that Deion Sanders item came out, I don't think EA had it in mind that he would be an elite blitzer. But that nickel blitz just comes in so fast off of that edge. You, you want a speedster there, and there's no oh, better man. speedster it's than Deion monster. Sanders. Well, this time it's not number 81 Randy Moss. It's Tim Brown. And that'll be the final play of the first quarter. We're in game number three here of Group E. Los is 2-0. And Misery is one and one, but it's Los who's on a drive. And that's right there. Is he chewing on gum? Is that a cap? I couldn't tell what that was. A piece of a straw or something, Scott. Whatever you got to do to calm the nerves. There it is. Is that a straw? That's, that's, that can't be gum. Is it gum? It's a straw. He's, he's, he's folded it over. Into a bite size. So we got the medic on deck. Hopefully he doesn't accidentally swallow that thing. That would not be recommended for children three and under. And so now we got a second and goal from the two. Loso with some gum. Old fashioned way right there. Chewing on some gum. A little eye big right here on the goal line, Scott. Grown man formation. Needs two yards, punch it in for six. Things are known to get stingy down here, though. High formation, two tight ends. Going to stretch it out wide to Dorsett, who cuts it back. And he will break the plane and touchdown Los. And the Reverend strikes first. <laughs> Rep Los, huh? I'm going to keep stuff. saying it until it sticks. <laughs> yeah, that's a good nickname. I'm and it's not it. about what he's wearing. He's dressed nice. I I'm not throwing shade on what he's wearing. It's because he's bringing the truth. He definitely started preaching when he got up there on that mic. <laughs> so Deion Sanders will try to answer and see if Misery can do so. Before that, let's go to Zach with a game break. Scott, you're looking live at a third and 13. Silent Soldier with the ball and the lead. True Boy on defense trying to find a way to get that left side pressure to come in. Instead, it's Silent Soldier able to convert Aaron Rodgers right now. 3-4-3, three, three. we'll keep you updated. Looking like a Thanksgiving game over there. Got the Thanksgiving no. unis out. I mean, Silent Soldier, he's looked good. He, we haven't seen him featured yet, but he's actually looked really good. I mean, he won the last challenger event of the year, Scott, which is what secured his spot to be here. So that means he's coming into the tournament hot. Those challenger events are no joke and are not easy to win at all. He's just about 60 miles away from San Antonio. That's where Crystal City, Texas is, and he's oh, looking good in our game on. number two. And remember, that's a rivalry game, Scott. I didn't get yep. to finish my story. True Boy not only eliminated Silent Soldier from the Madden Classic, <laughs> but he eliminated his two partners from online elimination as well. Soldier's been seeking revenge for a long time. He may just get it over there. Yeah, Philadelphia is the mecca of Madden. Crystal City is, for some reason, in the top five. <laughs> They, he says they have nothing else to do in Crystal City <laughs> but play Madden. He said there is nothing out there, so they take their Madden football extremely serious in Crystal City, Texas. Well, that man right there, Misery, here in our featured game, he's just outside of Philadelphia. Watch. And Los from Sarasota. He tells me he's from Tampa. Watch that corner route. Come on, right bro. I know where Sarasota is. First and ten from the 46. What a play. Finds Randy Moss. And a great playmaker down to the 22-yard line. And you saw Lowe's almost clicked onto the defender and made a hit even on that playmaker. Yeah. Just off on that one. It's risky because if you miss that hit, hit stick, the could, receiver could be walking into the end zone. Yes, that's a great point, Coltrane. And so Lynch takes it to the 25. That's a loss of two, second and 12. Misery can't afford to stall out here with 2.30 left in the half. Yeah, you need to go and get yourself some points if you miss, especially with Lowe's getting the ball back at the end of the half. Big time pressure off the left side. And that's going to bring up a big third down. Zach, what's going on in the other game? 
Last time we were here, Silent Soldier was on the march, grabs the interception from True Boy, turns it into points. He's up 14-0, and he just got another one right before the two-minute warning. He's in control. Wow. All right. Not so Silent Soldier. <laughs> He's getting hot at the right time, I'll tell you that much, Scott. Yeah, you're talking about the big win he had here in L.A. in the final event. And he's looking good here, and here's a field goal mm -hmm. by Misery. And that'll make it a 7-3 to three game, so get some points on the board. Wasn't a touchdown, but it, no longer the goose egg. Yeah, and Miz needs to show no mercy on, to Los, like he's showing no mercy on that straw that he's chewing. Because here's the situation, Scott. You still got two minutes left. Los up four points. And if he can go in and kill this two minutes and get a touchdown, go into the second half up 14 to three with getting the ball, that's gonna be a lot for Misery to overcome, especially against the player of the caliber of Carlos Yancey, AKA Lowe's. Let's go, let's go, So under two minutes to go in the half. Play action. Brady delivers a wide open strike. Damn, I fucking fumbled that. <laughs> All right. This play is money out this gun wide trip, Scott. That is a play that we saw problem run relentlessly last week when he made it through groups, and that is also a play that Dub Dot W has made famous in his offense as well. Another quick pass. This time it's inside the red zone to the 18-yard line, and Brady has completed his last three passes. This time it's to Chad Johnson. Yeah, he doesn't look so bad anymore, <laughs> huh, so. He overthrows it every time. Every time is a word that is used too loosely in the Madden community. That's my quarterback, man. First and 10 at the 18. Sixty-five seconds to go in the half. Quick throw to the outside, and there is Dorsett. Nice looking play. We haven't seen that today. And that'll take it to the 12, second and four. You called it out. This 84 overall. Gold Tony Dorsett, putting it work for Loso. Scott. That's like the one they lob you for logging in. Yeah, it's a free, <laughs> well remember, he's 84 overall, yeah. which makes him a gold card, but yeah. he's only one point away. Fumble. The ball's out! It picked up by Misery, oh my! Well, we're done talking about Tony Dorsett, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, nah, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> I was just gonna say, he's one point away from being an elite player, but Miz makes a play. He was asking to get his fumble back. The Madden gods listened. There's your fumble back, Miz. What are you going to do with it is the question. Only 30 seconds. They now quick throw to Lynch. Has some time, 24 seconds. Time for a game break with Zach. Scott, it's getting to the floaty territory right now. <laughs> Silent Soldier scores after the kick. Hit stick, fumble, scoop, and score. It's 28-0 before the half. I don't know if we're safe over here. Are we in the splash zone? Oh my gosh, someone get the floaties, like you said. Quick throw. Revenge is a dish best served cold. And Silent Soldier, cold as ice over there right now, huh? How much for True Boy is just him going 0-2 and, and saying, well, I'm done? Yeah, you, you, it's, a, it's a really good point, Coltrane. Sometimes you go 0-2, and so we've seen it happen here many times where it's hard for these players to stay motivated after when they fall into that situation. Smart play right there from Misery, just throwing away. Second and 10, he does have a timeout. Yeah. You gotta be careful here. I mean, you, you don't wanna force a turnover, give Lowe's those points right back. I think if you're Miz, you gotta be happy just getting out of this half. A little four vert action and coming here on second and 10. McNabb rolling to the left. There's Bosa doing it. Bosa oh, does it! Oh, and it's picked off! Loso. Sean Taylor from the U. Look at him flexing. This is why you said you got to be careful. You try to make a throw, you get hit. Sean T makes a play. And we were saying worst case scenario is being down 14 to 3 with Los getting the ball in the second half. Oh, what a lack of experience right there by Miz on the main stage. You were just getting greedy. No need for this. So nice. We had to watch it thrice. And that's a game changer, my man. You saw it coming from a mile away, Scott. We were just talking about you need to be careful and not force anything downfield. Give Lowe's the ball in your territory. 
I mean, pick six is worst case scenario. That is a great formula for losing Madden football games right there if you're misery, letting something like that happen. 3D for low, so throw it up. Here comes another INT. Wow. That one falls harmlessly to the turf. But a last second pick six for that man right there, Lowe's. He's in the driver's seat, 14 to three over misery. And he's gonna need a bigger straw. Oh yeah, he's gonna probably chewing that thing super aggressively now. It's rage chews over there. But Lowe's very fortunate. When you see the quarterback get hit like that, like he did at the end of the second half, Scott, it's very rare that the defense picks off the pass as he's throwing it. Lowe's very fortunate right there and capitalizes on the situation and complete control now going into the second half. We talked about that's why so many of these players have that Joey Bosa. The block sheds just adds that extra level of pressure. Bosa gets in there. Sean Taylor, the best safety of all time. Huge, huge interception. Let's go to the guys for halftime. Thanks a lot, fellas. Rico. Your boy Los is showing up today in Group E. He not only is showing up, he's showing out, and he is showing <laughs> off. You see that pressure he was able to put at the end of the half, got that pick, take, took it back to the house. That has given him the room to breathe. He's up two scores. He'll be able to go into that second half, keep that momentum. He's not leaving this in 2-1 and one in the Mad hands. He doesn't want Donnie calculating any numbers. He wants 3-0 <laughs> and oh and a move on. And it, Real quick, Zach, if you're misery here, Rico, what do you need to do to get yourself back into this game? You're going to need to put the first half behind you. Just go ahead, get something. Don't pray for fumbles. Don't pray to the Madden gods. You need to get something going, send some heat, get a turnover, and look to make something happen. It's, it's the end of the half game management that Los has nailed, and he got one at the end of the half right there. A whole possession with the points. You never know where it's going to be. That was a critical, critical play in that game. Yeah, big second half coming up here. Now, Zach, True Boy is one of the brightest stars in this community. Today has not been his day. Take us through this. Yeah, it started out early with Silent Soldier going to the ground game. He was uh, amped up. Silent Soldier needs this to get into it. He did it with defense. He did it with some special teams. True Boy tried to open up the offense a little bit. He got one back, but even at that stage, it's already 35-6 to six at the half. So, unfortunately for True Boy, you've had a great year. The only guy to make it to the all five events. You were number two in the rankings, but sometimes Madden's easy. Sometimes Madden's hard today. It looks like Madden's hard for True Boy. Absolutely. Well, thank you a lot, Zach. We want to remind all of you guys at home that if you're looking for tips and tricks to up your Madden game, you should follow Madden Ultimate Team on Twitter at EA Sports underscore Mutt. You can get the latest on new packs, giveaways, rewards, and a whole lot more. We are still moving through some Madden action here. We are watching Lowe's take on Misery. Uh, Spot Me Please is going to be headlining our next group. Drea, right now, we have her down on the field with Misery. Drea, take it away. Thanks, Dave. Misery, Los had two huge takeaways that really impacted the game so far. How do you protect the ball better in the second half? Go down when I catch the ball. I don't have a chance of fumbling, giving him the ball again. Um, just making better reads. He's playing good on offense. On a lighter note, your straw, or what is it exactly that you're chewing on? I know RG and... Uh... <laughs> Oh, well, you just spit it out, but what were you chewing on? I saw it. Oh, there you go. You were hiding it. It's the cap from the water bottle. Oh, for okay, so the cap from the water bottle, you've made it into some sort of a straw chewing mechanism. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, how does that enhance your game when you're chewing on that? Uh, it doesn't. I'm getting flooded right now. Exactly. So. Maybe you should spit it out. All right. <laughs> Let's send it to Scott and RG. Well, thanks so much, Rhea. <laughs> Finally, the mystery's been solved. We can We can stop the research team. It's just a, it's a water bottle cap that he's chewing on. The crazy thing is I wanted to call it out as being the cap to the water bottle. <laughs> I just didn't know Misery was that savage to put the thing down like that. I you mean, got to go with squashed. your initial reads, right? Yeah, I should have. When you feel it, you got to go with it. The gut. Well, I'll tell you what, right now, Los, he's looking very dominant here in Group E. Well, he's very... He's, like Misery said, he is doing a fantastic job of laying hits when he needs them. And then that Bosa play before the half, which Bosa hits the quarterback and Sean Taylor picks it off. Uh, sometimes those are the type of plays you need in order to win tournaments like this. And things so far go in Los's way. He's in prime position to advance out this group. But this is going to be a big open and drive for him, Scott. If you aren't salty enough, now Los gets the ball to start the half. Second and 10 after that drop pass. Boy, if he scores here, 
He scores seven here, RG. He's, he's going to need that floral shirt where he's going because it's, it's going to be all ocean. And the thing that that allows you to do, Scott, is you score seven here, you make it three possessions, and now allows you to change your defensive scheme a little bit. You don't feel as bad giving up some short passes, keeping the clock moving, and you get to play a little bit more conservative, which is a really good feeling. There's a wide open Chad Johnson down to the 35 yard line. It almost looked like if he would cut it to the right, he might have walked in. I'm disappointed that he was talking trash about Tommy Ballgame. <laughs> See somebody, the Ballgame slang in the rock right now with your Coltrane. Some dippity dots from the GOAT. And Dorsett, who fumbled earlier. You remember, he fumbled in the red zone. I mean, this thing could be way out of hand. Yeah, it's a good point. Second and eight. He's got Colquitt as his punter, Cundiff as his kicker. So probably needs at least five more yards to get in range. Big third and eight. He's passing the ball every down, it seems like. Yeah, Scott. You would think you, you want to get it to the ground a little bit more, keep this clock moving. Oh, that's a good read. And there's a big hit for Dawkins. Let's take a look at that. Big play right before the half, RG. McNabb finds himself with a handful of Joey Bosa. Well, it's the pressure off of the right with Bosa containing on the left. You roll away from the pressure. Now you got to deal with Bosa, who's a seam, makes the hit, and then the blitz and Sean Taylor cleans it up. Good teamwork right there by Lowe's defense. Still a two-score game, but it does make it two touchdowns. It's now the deficit. This is still wide open for Miz. Look at him in deep thought, chewing the cap a little bit. Big drive here for him. Dion will take it from his own goal line. Has a blocker, but he's going to cut it up. Goes down at the 31 yard line, and that's where Donovan McNabb will have to shake off the cobwebs and go to work. Right now, if things hold up, Silent Soldier looking like he's going to be True go. Boy. Lose, if he can keep this lead going, Scott, we will have Lose and Silent Soldier advancing out of this group. But Misery trying to have something to say about that. And if he is going to have something to say about it, it all starts with this drive right here. So second and inches. A few people hit me up on Twitter saying they thought Misery was going to be one of the guys to get out with Lose. Gonna need a little bit of mad magic here in the second half. One of your 200,000 Twitter <laughs> followers. I don't, know. I don't want to talk about it. I need an assistant. First and ten. The bomb. Moss can't hold on. Mel Blount was there to lay the hit. Looked like the wrong read from Misery. He had the wheel route getting separation up the sideline. Instead, throws it to the left into double coverage. Not a great read right there by Miz. Moss can't hold on. This is just some heavy hitting. When Lonnie Ballantyne is laying the hits, you it, know you're playing good D. It's Lowe's clicking on and yeah. clapping every time. That is old school Madden stick work at its finest right there, Scott. That was a technique that a lot of Madden players used to use back in the day, and Lowe's doing a phenomenal job of incorporating it into his game here today. Throws it to the corner, and Randy Moss could not drag the toes in the end zone, so here's fourth and ten. Biggest play of the ball game for Misery. So do you think his Cruz leaves today, or? Definitely dressed for a cruise, huh? That's a good observation right there. I was calling a medallion Miz. You see that nice gold chain he wears with a nice crispy medallion? Looking sharp. Little Hawaiian shirt. Gibbs would say he has got a good head of lettuce. Yeah, look at that. Medallion Miz right there. He's gonna make a run. Gonna need a miracle. Fourth and ten. Just trailing by 14. We get paid to make it dramatic. And there's a throw. Nope. And now Los is going to have it back. D. McNabb struggling, just 9 of 22. I feel Loso here, Coltrane. I need to see you run the ball, Loso. Take some time off of the clock. 
Quick throw up underneath. There's a big hit in the middle by Micah Evans. Johnson holds on. How about these next group coming up? Spot me, please. Duke, Monsta, and Wild. So if you have enjoyed Group E, Group F has got something for you next. Defending Madden Classic champion, spot me, please. It's going to be fun. I'm Wild, Monster, the Club Series finalist. Yep. Got some goons in that group. Of course, the veteran Duke. A lot of people say he could be a surprise to go 3-0 in that group. And there's a drop over the middle. Let's go to Zach with a game break. True Boy, the number two seed in this one, can't stop the run as Silent Soldier gets shifty after an interception. 42-14, he's all over True Boy. There's another drop from Randy Moss. So Silent Soldier, okay. Wow, he <laughs> Welcome. is making a state. That run that he just put on right there, we're used to seeing True Boy make runs like yeah. that all year long. Not someone juking him out getting icky with the sticks like that. Finds Dallas Clark. How disrespectful is Lowe's Coltrane? He's sitting here <laughs> and he's just slinging the rock. Up 14. Should be killing some clock. You're already in field goal range. But we're still out here slinging. And, and everyone is, is getting a share of the ball. Starting to chew it up. There's Dorsett. He'll tumble his way to the five, so second and two. Be Tim Brown's catching passes. Moss is catching passes. Chad Johnson, he's hitting Dallas Clark. Working Dorsett out of the backfield. Everything's going right for Lowe's. When you got Tommy Ball game at quarterback, everyone eats, Scott. Everybody <laughs> eats. It's true. If, if I was on the Patriots, I would at least have, He's I don't know, a couple to you. Three, four hundred yards, something like that. Mike Vrabel goal line package. <laughs> Old school, vintage, Super Bowl touchdowns. Yeah. 12 touchdowns, huh, for Rayburn? Did you know that? <laughs> you're just a I, I you're didn't a know cool. that either. I, I take, I, you know, the, uh, my main man, Mike Burks, in the back fed me that one, Tom Brady style. I was on a drag route. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and he, Burke, he, he found me. Burks the call. It's good. So third and three as we start the fourth quarter here. We got a two touchdown game. Los with an opportunity to put this one in the refrigerator. Important to run the ball here, Coltrane. Kill as much time off the clock as you can and take your three, make it three possessions in the fourth quarter. And they go to Dorsett and Dorsett with a big time hit as Darius Eubanks. One of those silver goons and salary cap. A lot of people talking about him. Comes up with a big hit. Yeah, he's 15 cap, but he's got 86 speed, about 82 hit power. So he's the minimum cap you would spend on a linebacker, but very serviceable, especially if you use or control him. So he's going to run this one all the way down. Damn. And up and through. So it's 20 to 3 now, 17 point game with 429. Los in the driver's seat. And he's been tough all year. You gotta wonder what type of run he would have made had he gotten out of his group at the Madden Bowl. If you're another competitor, oh my goodness, Dion. <laughs> all right. Not looking good. Let's go to Zach while I gotta get a taco. True boy still battling out here, goes downfield for the score. But it's 42-20 as the fourth quarter is approaching. Let's go! Five, nine. That was an ugly looking special teams. As Lynch falls forward to the 19 yard line, second and five. Need a quick score, RG. Yeah, if you're low so you cannot give up the big play right here. You're you're willing to give up some five, six yard runs, a couple slant routes, a couple out routes. You just do not want to give up those big plays that let Misery get yards in huge chunks. Again, this is fine because he doesn't get a whole lot of yards. The clock keeps on ticking, and that's the key right now for Loso. Make Misery run plays that are going to keep the clock ticking and extend the drive. Los really dropping back in coverage. When he's attacking, this is a guy that is a number seven blitzer. Blitzes 66% of the time, but now he can just play coverage. So he just sits back 
and he'll let you dink and dunk all day long. And that's exactly what he's doing, but as Miz continues to get these first downs, he's not even at midfield yet, and we already got about a minute 30 out of this quarter. He spent about a minute on this drive alone, and we're only playing five-minute quarters. Throws off his back foot. Marshawn Lynch has some space, and he'll muscles his way past midfield to the 48, but that clock is absolutely flying by. Yeah, this is good defense by Lowe's. He is playing this biblically right now, Scott. Spot me, please, and Monsta do up next to start off Group F. Ooh, Madden Classic champion versus Madden Club Series finalist. Remember last time they played, though, Spot me, please, beat the back out of Monster at the Madden Classic. So Monster's going to have a chance to get some of that revenge. If Monster had an in-game item, it would be, it would have the gunslinger trait. The guy just throws it all over the yard. He is definitely the gunslinger of the group. FMB Monster, Juan Velasquez, 20 years old, Tracy, California. One of the best young up-and-coming players we have. But like you said, he's known to slang that rock around, sometimes with no regard. And this time it's a drop, so it'll be oh. third and ten. I was up at the club series, San Francisco club series. Monster looked really good, and the key is when he doesn't turn the ball over, he's one of the toughest outs in the whole field of 32. Almost unstoppable, and don't forget, ooh, nice spin. We got Spot Me Please, who has one of the most prolific passing attacks in all of the start game. So, I, so you're telling me you're exciting. Tell Wagon? Tails wagon. They're going to be airing that ball out. It's always fun when you get to see high-level Madden players slang it all around the field. So first and ten for Misery. He's out for a, just a, a walk in the park, but you're trailing by 17, and he gets to the 21. At some point, you got to start taking a shot to the end zone. Los is not giving it to him. He is user-controlling his defender and staying way back in this area of the field, not letting any of those big plays go back. Look at that. See how far back Los's user control defender was? And, and this time he throws a pick. And why not bring it out of your end zone? Lonnie, and, ball in time. And that right there, Scott, is why you didn't want to take a shot if you're misery. You were picking up yards. You have the wide guy wide open on the sideline. <laughs> and you finally get a little bit too aggressive, and you pretty much throw away your Madden Championship dreams right there on this drive, because bearing anything tragic, Lowe's should be walking out of here with the W. Well, pass the plate, because Reverend Los bringing the good word here in Group E. Looks like he might move to 3-0. and He had a couple other words besides the good word. I'll <laughs> tell you that much. <laughs> Very true, Archie, very true. And it's picked up by Mike Evans. Nice user alert by the out of position safety. Most being a little bit too aggressive. He's playing defense perfectly, but on second and inches, refusing to run the ball. I can understand going for a shot on second and inches when you're down points or it's a close ball game. But in this situation, if you're Los, you just got to move the chains and keep that clock ticking. That was a mistake by him. So the clock is moving. You're facing two enemies right now, RG. Misery's facing Los, and he's facing that clock. Yeah, here's Los right there. And then we got the clock right here. Second and four. McNabb. Nothing. Throws across his body, and that'll skip in. Takes a big hit on the sideline, third and four. Close in a two-man undershell call right there, playing a little man-to-man -man defense, which is a great way to not give up the big play. McNabb throws in a coverage, and Moss, I tell you one thing, Los has had a man or two always there to break up the pass. Yes. That is a great point, and that's what allows them to click on to those guys and make the big hits. It's not about having everything completely locked up where there's no windows to throw the ball, but the point is, as long as you have your defenders in a place where you can oh, crash in on those windows and make plays, as he gets an interception right there, you're going to be very successful on defense. Lowe's always been a master of that. Defensive specialist always makes good reads, and man, old school Lowe's looking like he's showing up to the Madden Championship. This is a guy, Scott, that won three major Madden tournaments 
during his tenure um, before we started the Madden Championship Series back when it was exclusively the Madden Challenge. Three major events. On top of that, he is an underground tournament legend, considered to be one of the best underground tournament players of all time with guys like Problem, Serious Mo, and boy, is he back making a name for himself when Madden is bigger and better than ever. How many times have you get the opportunity to play Los. We actually did play in an underground tournament at Players Ball. What happened? Best of three series. I won the first game, Los won the second game, and then I lost to Los in overtime <laughs> in the third game. That's a true story, Scott. Well, that's the cool thing. You know these guys better than most. And Los, this time you're making it out, my friend. You're moving on. 20 to three win. He goes to three and zero oh in the groups. He's going to join Silent Soldier. Yeah, he's no longer lurking amongst the whispers. <laughs> <laughs> Please make sure we spell his name right. Yes. All right, let's go to Zach for the finish of game number three.